Okay, we're going to be working with some spreadsheets and I actually want to start with a Microsoft product. We're going to use Microsoft Excel because we're going to load it and upload it to Google Drive and convert it later. So let's just start with a blank workbook and I'm going to name my sheet. I usually try and name my sheets to start with, units. And we're going to just work with a little bit of cell formatting and some basic formulas here. So I'm just going to highlight these G and H here and I'm just going to merge these and we're going to look at some abbreviations just because we're going to be working with recipes and so some abbreviations are going to be important there. Uh, abbreviations of US units and I'm going to just make a little bit more room in the G column for a longer word and then yeah so this is going to be pound tab LB uh, oops I should have hit enter that would have jumped ounce tab OZ enter there we go gallon tab JL enter <laughs> okay and when you're done you can kind of make this look like your own give it your own little style and you know fill it with a certain color if you want put a little border around it I'm gonna do a thick border and you can make it look look your own you, you can fill this in with borders or whatever you want okay so I'm going to do the same down here and this is, I'm going to merge these and this one's going to be units of measure in the US, oops, wow, there we go. Alright, and I'm going to just start here with weight. Alright, so this is um, information that's available on the internet, but sometimes it's helpful to, uh, to have it at your fingertips. So I'm going to do volume now. One gallon. Okay, and the same thing down here. You can make this make this look special in, in any way just like you did up here and I'll let you do that yourself stretch cells and make it look make it look good okay now over here on the left we're going to do some conversions okay so we're gonna start here with weight and let's see here so we're gonna go from pounds and we're gonna go turn it into ounces Okay, so what we need to do is add a formula in here. And so, um, how many pounds is in an ounce? We can look over here. Okay, six. so one pound is 16 ounces. So whatever shows up here, I need to multiply it by 16. So this cell, I'm going to hit equals, because it equals whatever I put in this cell, times, which is the asterisk, and then 16. Okay, and hit enter. And that means if I put something in here like a 1, it should say 16. If I put a 2 in here, it should be 32. Okay, and then so for ounces, and we're going into pounds over here. And so we know that we're, it's, it's backwards, right? It's going to be the other way. So it should be very similar except we should be dividing. Okay, so it's going to be equals whatever I put in this cell and divided by is the, is the slash like this. And then 16, enter. Okay, so if I put in 16 ounces, it should give me one pound. Okay, if I put in, I don't know, 32 ounces, it should give me two pounds. Okay, good. All right, let's leave that as zero. Okay, so that's weight, and now we're going to go to volume. Uh, let's pick a color so that we know that we're going to be editing this color. So I'm going to say, you know, blue. Blue or green means go. Let's do green, okay? A light green that means go that means I should be able to put something in there and then I can click my paintbrush here and it'll paint it down here I'm gonna do that again actually how many do I have I think I have 10 so let's try this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 those should all be green okay and you can do the formulas yourself here but we're going we're gonna go gallons to quarts <laughs> Okay, so when you're done, you can again make this look look good, make this a little bigger maybe, or put boxes around these things so that it's easier to see. And what you know, I should be able to enter numbers here 
and it should automatically do some converting for me whatever number I enter should should make sense okay and so there should be uh, yeah it should work for every single one of these things but I'm just gonna leave them all at zero for now okay